Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Christmas Crafts with Chris. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. We are blown away by the amount of feedback that we're getting, which is awesome. Last week, in case you missed it, we built a gingerbread house. Um, it wasn't really a how-to video. The first video we really did a how-to, and the last week was really just a watch me make an absolute mess for 10 minutes straight. But this week, I'm super excited. We are gonna make very, very inexpensive, what I think is really, really creative um, snow globes. So let me get set up, I'll be right back. So as you can see, I'm all set up, and like every other video we've done, I'm gonna quickly do a roll call of everything that we need. Um, first and foremost, you guys probably remember glitter from the first video. Um, I can honestly say I never thought I'd deal with this much glitter in my entire life, but glitter has made a comeback to the show. Uh, next we've got a mason jar. If you're thinking about where to get a mason jar, check your garage. I'm pretty sure every basement comes standard with mason jars now. Um, or if you've got a baba, they're always pickling something. So, we've got a mason jar. We've got a glue gun, which I have burnt myself on several times already. Um, $4.99 at Walmart, so really, really inexpensive. And then we got an actual snow globe kit from Michaels. Uh, the whole kit just came with a little bit of snow. Uh, we've got a cute little house that we're gonna be using, cute little tree that we're gonna be using. Uh, we've got some garland for the tree. And, uh, and then of course we've got some snowflakes to go in there and then we're gonna add water. The plan is we're gonna glue everything to the base. Um, we're gonna hope that it sticks. We're gonna fill it with water. We're gonna add some glitter and we're gonna hope that it doesn't just crumble into a big juicy mess. So um, let's get started. Standard mason jar and uh, it's really, really simple. So you've got the lid, you've got the lid that I've been told is called a sealer um, that if you're an obnoxious little kid like I was growing up, you make some noises. You're just gonna pop the lid off. We don't need this part yet. And this is really gonna be our stage for everything. We're gonna glue everything onto the bottom of this it's really gonna become our stage that we can then lower in or I might just sit it in the lid as it is. Um, and then all our decorations are going to affix to it. Well, got my cute little house, which is actually pretty substantial. It's, uh, it's a pretty thick house. So I'm gonna just apply some glue here. This is the nice, no more icing decor, nothing. You can just go bonkers on this thing and put as much glue as you want and be a little bit strategic you want to st you got got to keep in mind that you're going to be putting a lid down on this and you want to leave room for when you go to lower the glass onto the sealer so my house i want to believe is secure next i want to put this cute little treat i've got some cute little garland here and i'm going to quickly just wind this around now there's all sorts of different kits for this. You can get creative. Maybe you don't need to do a kit. If you've got some little Christmas trinkets that you've always wanted to use, um, you know, there's there's really no rule. It's just gotta be something you can glue down and something that'll fit in a mason jar. So not exactly a ton of crazy qualifications of what would work. And uh, really all I'm trying to do here is create a garland kind of look. Look out for stringy glue. I don't know why that is, but glue sticks tend to make stringy glue why am i always covered in something glitter icing glue like what like i didn't sign up for this and actually this camera will appreciate the stringiness i have coming off of this so you want to make sure you remove all the strings because that might look pretty gross once it's in your soon to be beautiful little globe but as you can see we've got a nice decorated little tree no judgments please and now that it's decorated, now that it's glued, we are just going to glue the bottom and secure it up against our house. Get rid of our stringies. If anyone's got any tips on how to get rid of stringies with glue, please uh, put it in the comments. I would love to, love to know for the next time I decide to torture myself. And next, I've got a cute little gingerbread guy, very similar to the Shrek character. Um, he's a little bit out of place, but he does match the house. So one can only assume that he um, lives in the house. So we are gonna put him right beside his house, kind of in the backyard, looking off to the side. I'm not really sure why, but to be honest with you, it's the only way it's gonna fit. So we just have to go with what we've got. So I'm gonna place him down there. We are gonna give this a second to dry and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I think my glue is dry because I'm able to do this, so I'm feeling pretty confident. And I think it's a cute little scene. If you uh, have a look here, I think we've got, we've got all our gingerbread man, we've got our house, we've got our decorated tree. So now that we've got our scene, now we've got to set up the actual jar itself. So for that, I've got this very pretty uh, silvery, purplish, pinkish kind of giant glitter that they recommend you put in the globe. And then we do have, of course, our good friend, a salt shaker sized uh, portion of glitter. Oh, and of course I've got these as well, these very high detailed, cute little snowflakes that we're gonna put in. We're only gonna put a few of those and have them just kind of float around. We're gonna add our, our prettiness to this. I've got bag here. I think, I think the, the idea here is less is more because you can always add. It would be quite the nightmare to try and take some out. So I'm actually just gonna play it uh, on the cautious side and I, I can't see them asking you to put this entire baggie in. So I'm actually just gonna stop like right there for now. And we're just gonna add some glitter that comes out quite quickly. And we're just gonna go with a little bit to fill the bottom. We're gonna seal that back up and try not to touch it because it gets everywhere. And then finally, we've got our little package of snowflakes here. I don't think I put all of them. I think that's gonna be a little bit too distracting. So let's see here. I'm gonna put one, two, two, three, four, five. Let's go with six. Six seems like a lucky number. And now, for a close-up, just to show you guys, like I've got a rather large-sized mason jar, I guess. He's, he's kind of short but fat. Um, I can relate. Um, but just so you can see, I really don't have, like I, I literally have about half, quarter to an inch of filling there. And now we are going to slowly add the water. Now when you're adding the water, something to consider is you want to make sure that you factor in that you're going to be lowering something into the water. So you don't want to fill it right up to the brim, try to lower this in and then have water everywhere. Um, I'm actually quite shocked that I thought of that. If you don't have enough water when you lower everything in, obviously you could just take the lid off and you could fill it back up. So we're just gonna add some water. And we are actually gonna play it by ear. I'm gonna lower this in once just to have a look and see if we need to add more or not. All right, so this is probably the coolest thing ever. So if you can see that, it actually looks kinda neat. Very, very purdy, if you will. Okay, and I'm actually gonna add a little bit more because I'm feeling confident. Famous last words. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. We are submerging our stuff. We got it. We're securing the lid. So far, so good. Nothing's falling off. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if I'm gonna get covered in water. We've glued everything to the top. We've got the lid on as tight as possible. And one, two, three. Hey, hey look at that. We've got, uh, it's leaking a tiny bit, but if you look inside, you give a little bit of a shake, you've got a snow globe. And I think it's actually pretty good. I think we did pretty good. We're gonna get a close up and we're gonna post it for you guys. We've got a little bit of contest if you want this guy once we can fix the leak, of course. What we want you guys to do is if you have a snow globe at home, we want you to post a picture in the bottom. Whoever's got a mo the most entertaining snow globe uh, is actually gonna get this little guy to add to their collection. So hope you had a good time. We are gonna be making more of these, one, maybe two. So we hope that you guys keep watching them, keep sharing them with your friends, and I will see you next time on Christmas Crafts with Chris. Take care, guys.